What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about my previous video. We're going to be talking about the Slenderman video. This is the one that I just made, Slenderman and Fortnite. Uh, we're going to be talking about why I made that video, why it's obviously clickbait, uh, and I'm going to jump right into all of that stuff in this video. So let's talk about it. So today is June 25th, 2019, and I uploaded the video today, the day that I'm recording this, uh, and I wanted to film this video before that video gets um, any attention or negative backlash or anything like that, uh, because I am anticipating all of that on that video. Um, and so I wanted to make this video before that all happens because I want this to kind of be proof that I did it intentionally I knew that this was all going to happen when I made this video and that's kind of the first reason that I made it to begin with and that was a test to see if I can predict the outcome of a video if I think that I know a video that's going to be popular right because intent the intention of that video of the Slenderman and Fortnite video was to see if it blows up to see if you know it's so clickbaity so you know uh, obviously unbelievable um, I wanted to see if if I could produce a video that would you know get a lot more views than the rest of the when than the rest of the content on my channel get a lot more interaction and things like that so the point of the video was to see if I could make it blow up by using keywords and by having it appear in search results um, and just making it so uh, so I really clickbaity to, to get people to watch it um, and I anticipate this taking a while right I don't think that it's gonna happen right away I don't think that you know within by the time this video goes up that video probably doesn't even have you know a thousand views or 500 views right so I anticipate it taking um, a few months maybe about a year for that to start clicking and once it gets to a certain amount of views it'll start to get re uh, recommended in suggested videos and I'm trying to see if that will get it to just take off right and this is the type of video that I wanted to make probably about a year year and a half ago actually when Fortnite was more at its peak um, but I just never got around to it back then about a year year and a half ago I wasn't really into making videos as much as I am at this moment um, so here we are after the peak of Fortnite way after the peak of Slenderman and I wanted to see if that video could peak enough interest to get people to click on it um, so really it was an experiment right Right? it was an experiment with uh, search engine optimization it was a, an experiment with keywords with getting my video recommended and in uh, suggested video sidebars um, but also it was a way for me to kind of develop lore to creatively develop lore for an area of the Fortnite map that I feel is you know underrepresented and is under uh, used in terms of like story and things like that I think Haunted Hills is really fascinating um, you know compared compared to everything else on the map um, and I wanted to see if I could like you know build some sort of story built you know off of that because there's not really any lore in in Fortnite I mean there is okay I know that there's an overarching story that goes from season to season things like that but for specific things like Haunted Hills you know the architecture and the way that it's laid out and everything like that you know I wanted to see if I could creative you know, creatively come up with a story that could incorporate all of that and i think that you know obviously there's a huge huge plot holes in in the you know in the video and in the the, the easter egg itself now um, but it was fun for me to go ahead and create a type of video like that because i don't typically do that right i don't typically you know create my own fictional stories out of thin air that's not something that i do usually at anywhere especially on youtube um so i wanted to do that um i'm also a huge fan of uh, like creepypasta and of you know kind of scarier creepier videos on YouTube there's a lot of really great channels that have you know I'm like Nexpo is a really really great uh, channel there's all these different um, videos on YouTube talking about creepypastas and unexplored you know um, internet mysteries and things like that urban legends I love that type of stuff and I love that type of content and I wanted to see with that that beginning like minute and a half two minute clip of me explaining the story of Slender Man that was me experimenting with creating that type of content and that's something that I definitely would like to do more in the future so this is kind of like a little bit of a test run and finally the last reason that I made this video is because I've made a video like this before if you guys go to my YouTube channel and you sort it by most popular you'll see my most popular video was a slender man in advanced warfare Easter egg video and I've talked about this on my channel before I actually made a video talking about how it was my most hated video um, so you would think like well 
why would you want to replicate your most hated video well for one i'm a troll right and it's really fun and funny and i find it entertaining to kind of you know quote unquote troll people and get them to think that it's real and then find out that it's not but also just look at how many views that video got right i mean if you can't beat them then join them that's the old saying that's you know it, it, i can't combat clickbait right i hate clickbait on this platform i think it's uh predatory and it's like you know it's it goes against everything that youtube is supposed to be right it's supposed to be a creative place where people can show off their talents and their skills and be entertaining but instead we get you know jake paul reaction videos and all this other clickbait garbage um and so i've spent years kind of complaining about it and i thought you know well why don't i just do it right like just let's just make the most clickbait video that i possibly can think of and the reason for that is because i've done it before and it was super successful it's my most successful video like by far right like it's got like 20 times more views than the second place video um so like why not try to replicate that success even though that video got tons of hate i still get i still to this day get people saying hey do you remember your your slenderman video from advanced warfare that's how i found you right which is weird to me because everyone hated that video at least so it seems you know some people got that it was a troll right some people got that it was a joke but a lot of people hated me for clickbaiting really pretty heavily right um like i clickbaited to the point where i completely fabricated a lie like that's really what it is and i did the same thing with the fortnite video that i uploaded either yesterday or two days ago whenever this video goes up um so the idea was like even though that video got a lot of hate uh, and it was, you know, clearly clickbait. I wanted to see like, it, it still did the best, right? It still did the best out of anything that I've ever made. I've uploaded over 300 videos to this channel. I've been doing this for a very long time and that's what took off, right? Like I have to attribute a lot of my success, like quote unquote success. I don't have that much, right? But you know, a lot of my, I got probably 800 subscribers off of that one video, right? Like that's the only video that's made me any sort of money on this platform. And, and granted, you know, I've spent more money on this YouTube channel than made. Like, let's just make that abundantly clear. The computer and the equipment and everything like that, plus the time spent is just far and far more than I've ever made off of YouTube. But regardless, um, the point is my Slender Man and Advanced Warfare video got the most views it got me about 800 subscribers and it made the most money out of anything on my channel it got my channel discovered by dozens and dozens dozens of people at some of which still hit me up on instagram or twitter or who comment occasionally on my videos so it's like one can i replicate that am i able can i do that right like was that a fluke was that a one-off thing like did i just get lucky or is there something about that type of video that i can do again and replicate that with fortnite a few four years later however long ago i made that three four years ago um right so the the first thought was can i replicate that and two I should try to replicate that because look at how successful it was and three you know it was a, it was a creative video right making this Fortnite Slenderman video was a creative pursuit for me um, it got me you know I actually scripted that first minute and a half I actually have it written down in my notes on my phone so I really put thought and time into the Easter egg and creating it like just filming and editing that video took like I don't know six or seven six out six seven hours yesterday and then I spent a whole day before that, probably about six hours, just developing what the Easter egg could possibly potentially be in, and how could I make it just at least slightly believable to people who aren't really familiar, right? So I spent a ton of time. It was a big, like, create. It was, uh, it required a lot of uh, creative labor to make that video, um, and I wanted to see, you know is it going to blow up right and again by the time i upload this video that video probably only has you know maybe 200 views 500 views tops um if it has more than that then that's just proof in the pudding that i knew what i was doing and it, it actually happened and actually worked right like i actually set the goal of making a clickbait video go semi-viral and it works right so that's kind of my mindset it's like can i do it like can i just like can I come up with an idea that actually will work, right? Because that's the whole thing on YouTube, right? You, ha you have to get discovered. You have to kind of do things that nobody else is doing, or you have to do things, um, you have to be the best at getting seen, right? Like you have to pe get people to watch, you know, of course, that's why clickbait is so popular to begin with. So it's like, you know, should I just keep making the same videos that I've been making for years? Or can I just go ahead and make this video? And even though it's mega clickbait and mega scammy and mega, like, you know what I mean? I know what it is. I, I didn't did that on purpose. Can I make a semi viral video consciously, right? And not attribute it to luck, right? Not attributing it to luck, but actually just 
think about it and then doing it does it work can i do that am i capable of doing that do i have the skills and knowledge to do that right that was the primary reason of making that video and two will it be beneficial to my channel in, in, a, in the similar way that the slender man advanced warfare video was back in the day um because you know if i have that if i can repeat that if that thunder can strike twice or lightning, it's lightning it's what strikes it can lightning strike twice can i make lightning strike twice on this channel if i can then you know that might give me that boost that i need to have my videos co go back into sub boxes i feel like a lot of my videos don't end up in your sub box anymore because of how sporadic and inactive and inconsistent i've been for the past two years so i just wanted to make this video right now it's 1 55 p.m on june 25th at this present moment the video the slender man in fortnite video just broke 100 views and i'm trying to see will it do the same thing that my previous slender man video did um i'm trying i hope it does like that's the whole point and i wanted to make this video letting you guys know that i know that it was clickbait and it was you know it, it was a terrible in terms of like actual like like it was just a lie that was what it was the video was just a flat out lie it masked behind a troll right like at the end there's a troll face i don't know if you guys saw it at the very end of the video i put a troll face right in the, the last two frames of the video are a huge troll face so you know obviously um I knew what it was. It was a troll video. I was lying about there being Slenderman in Fortnite, clearly, and it was all clickbait. Click, uh, clickbait video concept, clickbait uh, thumbnail and title and description and every, like, everything about that video was clickbait, and I know that. So I don't, you guys don't have to tell me. I did that on purpose, and I think I've explained well enough throughout this video w what my motives were um just to see if i could do it right um so hopefully you know if it does end up taking off six to 12 months from now if it if it just seeps into recommended and then gets a ton of watch time and youtube blows it up and puts it in the algorithm which is what i'm which, what i'm trying to get it to do right that's the whole point um is i'm trying to get youtube to recommend it and suggested and hopefully the video is, was clickbaity enough to get people to get the watch time but regardless that's why I did it. I wanted to see if I could boost, you know, if I could do it again, if I could kind of make lightning strike twice. Um, my hair is an absolute mess today. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but I spent all day yesterday uh, filming and editing and, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this clears up, you know, yesterday because that's not a, t a typical video that I upload, right? That's not something I do often, almost never. Um, so I wanted to make this video explaining why I did that and, and, and hopefully you guys understand that and can also keep it on and see like do, is this going to work for omnia because it's going to work for him if it does maybe you can try something similar or you know use that use those tips you know you don't have to be as clickbaity as me if you don't want to if you're not comfortable with that but <clears throat> i just wanted to see if i could do it and hopefully it works in the, the next few months hopefully over time it'll take off uh with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up uh comment down below telling me what you think do you do you still hate me for the video like i totally get it again i i totally get that um if you do it's it's fine um because so comment down below drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see my future videos see if i could do anything else cool and creative um and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon peace